What is going on, my fellow nerds and geeks? Welcome back to Nerd Explosion, the weekly podcast where based on a monthly topic, I nerd out about whatever I want. As always, I'm your host, Cameron. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, for the month of April, I forgot to think of a topic. I just got so busy with, you know, my rent coming up, and I'm dealing with a personal injury myself. I uh, actually figured out I pinched an L5 nerve in my back, which basically is a nerve that runs from your lower back down, uh, down your leg. And down the left leg specifically. And I just basically, I went to the doctor and they told me that. And they're like, yeah, just heat and ice and pain meds and, you know, do some physical therapy and you'll be fine. So I'm dealing with that. And then after, you know, getting all that settled, I was like, oh shit, I forgot a topic. (laughs) So I kind of decided last minute that I'm going to make the month of April, the topic for the month of April, Reddit. Which basically means that each episode I'm going to be reading through, reading some stories from different Reddits. Starting with today's episode, I'm going to be reading a couple stories from r slash Am I the Asshole. Now, I've done this episode before. I've read through Am I the Asshole before. But in case you don't know, Am I the Asshole is a Reddit where people post stories and ask if, you know, they're the asshole in this situation. And I figured I'll just read some stories for you today and just give my opinions on them. So before we get into that, new episodes of this podcast come out every Saturday, so make sure you're liking, following, whatever it is you can do with podcasts. Also, video versions go out on my YouTube, SuperTM64, every Saturday as well. With that being said, let's see if these people are truly the asshole as we read through r slash am I the asshole. This podcast is brought to you by Anchor FM. Ever thought about starting your own podcast? Well, then you should check out Anchor FM. I use Anchor for this podcast, and I seriously cannot recommend it enough. It is very easy to use, and best of all, it's free. You can easily record and edit your own podcast from your phone or computer with its many creation tools, and once you're done recording, Anchor will automatically distribute your podcast to apps like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And you can even start making money as soon as your first episode. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm, that's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M, to get started today. Our first story today comes from Comfortable Ad 7073. Am I the asshole for kicking out my girlfriend's family for tying up my dog? I, 48-year-old male, have a girlfriend, Mariah, 40-year-old female, that I've been seeing for two years. I live in the Northeast USA. I also have a dog, Boots, who is a three-year-old male. Boots is a working dog breed, but is well behaved and loved by my friends and neighbors. He has the run of the house, and I also have a big fenced in backyard for him to run around. Mariah grew up in the south, on a farm. She's been around dogs before, but they've always been outside dogs that worked the farm and slept in barn or kennels. She never had an indoor dog like Boots, and it was an adjustment to get used to him, but she loves him now. She did mention to me that her mother would never get used to an indoor dog, and would absolutely not allow the dog in the kitchen. Mariah's mom and brothers wanted to visit her, but Mariah lives in a small one-bedroom apartment and doesn't have the room for them. Their family also can't afford a hotel. Mariah asked if the family could stay in my house. My house has plenty of space, so I agreed. They came, and things mostly went well, but as expected, Mariah's mom kept making comments about Boots being allowed indoors and how that wasn't right. I told them, gently, that I'll keep Boots from bothering them, not allowing him in their bedrooms, trying to keep him underfoot. But this is my home, with my rules, and Boots gets to hang indoors with me. Aside from being around, Boots didn't do anything to provoke them. He generally chills in whatever room I'm in, unless someone is actively playing with him. One morning, I woke up late and came downstairs to see Mariah's family making slash eating breakfast. I noticed that Boots wasn't around and I asked where he was. Mariah's mom said, Don stumbled belong in the kitchen, so we put him outside. I was slightly annoyed, but Boots likes being outside, so I figured it wasn't a big deal. I looked out the window thinking I would see him on my back deck, his usual spot, but he wasn't there. I stepped outside to find him and I still couldn't see him. I went around the corner of the house and found Boots tied up to the fence using rope from kindling bundles I have for my fire pit. After untying Boots, I went back inside and asked Mariah's mom why they tied up my dog. She said that dogs shouldn't be allowed to run around and she was just treating him like a dog should be treated. I told him to pat their shit and get the fuck out. Mariah and her mom called me an asshole because they had nowhere else to go. 
I said that was their problem. If they couldn't respect me and my dog, they had to get out. Am I the asshole? Absolutely not. What kind of monster just decides their own rules for somebody else's dog? Like, obviously, your dog is, you said your dog is chill. Your, your dog is an inside dog. Your girlfriend's mom has no, absolutely no right to just decide, you know, what happens with your dog. And for just to, to her to just tie the dog up like that, like, she could have, you know, it wouldn't have been as bad if she just at least, you know, just let the dog go outside and that be that. No, she had to go through the effort of tying up the damn dog. So, honestly, I don't know if I would have kicked them out, but I would be super pissed off, too. I wouldn't, you know, I, I probably would kick them out. Just, you know, like, that's not my problem. You don't respect my house. You don't respect my roles. You can get out. So, no, you're definitely not the asshole. This next story is from Strawn Elderberry 866 Am I the asshole for telling someone to fuck off after being called a racist for learning Spanish? Last weekend, I was at a house party with some friends. We were mostly just sitting and chatting, nothing crazy. My friend was the one hosting the party, so some people in attendance were more of my acquaintances more than friends, but it's obviously not a big deal, and we all get along just fine. The night was going great, and I was chatting with a few people, and I don't even remember how it came to be, but my friend mentioned that I started learning Spanish recently. It turned out one of the people, Abby, spoke decent Spanish and started a small talk in Spanish, basically, how are you, etc. We exchanged maybe two or three sentences, as I've only been learning it for a month. We switched back to English, and Abby, now keep in mind we are all white and live in Europe, asked if there was a reason why I didn't learn the standard Spanish accent people are taught in school here, we're in England, although I am not English. I simply replied that no, but I was focusing on this one specifically because Argentinian telenovelas are my guilty pleasure and I am learning Spanish to be able to watch them. I learned English to read books, so it's nothing new to me. And I figured it was best to focus on that form, that from the beginning, since pronunciation differs quite a lot, and you're able to hear it even in the most basic sentences. At this point, another person, Stella, chimed in and said that she thought it was cultural appropriation to only learn a language to watch TV. I replied that I disagree, and if anything, it was cultural appreciation, learning a language to appreciate country's culture, even if it's watching TV or movies. She basically disagreed with me and asked if I was even planning on visiting Argentina or Latin America, and I replied that I currently have no plans, but who knows what the future holds, and that when I was learning English, I didn't plan on moving to the UK either. At this point, she said that she changed her mind, that it wasn't cultural appropriation, that uh, I was racist to learn a language with specific dialect slash accent and not even planning on visiting the country. I've had enough of her at that point and simply told her to fuck off in an order and change the conversation topic. Now, apparently, Stella has been telling people how awfully I treated her when she only tried to show me that I was in the wrong. So am I the asshole for telling her to fuck off? Uh, I don't know the context of that. If you you were very aggressive when you tell her to fuck off, but you know, she, yeah, she was absolutely in the wrong, but just going to the extreme telling her to fuck off, that might have been a little extreme, but still, she's definitely in the wrong. I don't see how it's racist to, you know, learn another language just for, for any reason, any specific reason. Like, if you're just learning Spanish to watch a TV show, that's your business, you know. Who is this person to try to tell you? what to do with your time. So no, I don't think it's racist that you're learning Spanish to watch TV and all this other stuff. I will say no, you're not the asshole for telling her to fuck off. Basically, she needs to mind her own business. This next story comes to us from Prehistoric Youth. I, 28 year old female, have an abscessed wisdom tooth and given that my jaw is so small, these wisdom teeth are chipping away at my molars one by one. My teeth are fucked. They don't always hurt, but most of the time there's a lot of pressure due to lack of room and if I bit down too hard, sometimes it sounds like my tooth is crunching. I was finally able to get a decent enough dental insurance where I only had to cover a thousand dollars of the $4,500 bill to have these teeth removed, so I have been saving up for over a year. Our rent keeps getting raised, so we have a very hard time keeping up. I had $1,050 saved last week and finally made the appointment for this Monday. Well, on Friday, my brother-in-law calls freaking out because he has been living in his car for like two years and his car broke down so he no longer had heat or any way to get to and from seeing his daughter, work, etc. My brother-in-law is one of those people my husband is very easily manipulated by 
and goes to the ends of the earth to help him no matter the cost because my brother-in-law uses the I saved you when you were in foster care and you're the only person I have left lines. They did not have a good life. Therefore, my husband feels he owes his brother the world despite his brother being older. He also blames himself for how his brother turned out. So he calls and basically says he needs money to get his car fixed. Doesn't ask. Just says, hey, I need $580 to get my car fixed. My husband didn't have the money, so he asked me, and I said the money I had was for my teeth. Well, my husband starts pulling the silent treatment and gets all distraught, and then starts crying and says he feels like a fucking failure. And every time his brother called, he would start crying again, saying he was sorry, and he would figure it out. And even tried selling off pretty much everything he had to get his brother this money. Well, he then just wouldn't stop talking about it, and it got to a point where he spoke about it so much that I basically threw the money at him, told him to shut the fuck up, and went off about how his family has been nothing but a fucking burden to me, and that I was done, and that his brother had better not call ever again asking for anything. My husband again starts crying and asking me to see his view, because his brother did save his life, and I said, it's not my fucking problem and I don't give a fuck anymore. I then packed and left to go to my mom's house. I'm being told that I took this too far and that I'm the asshole for allowing his water words to manipulate me into giving him the money to fix my teeth. Am I the asshole? Yeah, you are. You're more worried about how your teeth look versus someone else's living situation, someone else's safety, someone else's financial situation. Like, oh, um, that doesn't matter if you're living in a cardboard box. I need my teeth fixed. I've had my teeth messed up my whole life and you don't hear me whining about it. <laughs> But, yeah, especially if, if this brother-in-law is a good person altogether, you know, definitely, you know, it's worth it to help him out. You know, what's, what's, what's more important? Getting somebody's car fixed and helping somebody out when they're down on their luck? Or having good teeth? That's ultimately what it comes down to. So, I'm going to say you're not a complete asshole, but you're definitely an asshole in this situation. This next story comes to us from Genesee. Am I the asshole for what I said to my wife after finding out she had a miscarriage? My wife and I have been together for years and we've been struggling with fertility since we got married. Hey, I know that feel. A few weeks ago, I found out that she was pregnant, though she knew she was pregnant three months before she told me. Knowing she knew for so long upset me, but I tried to let her go a week after finding that out. I come home to see her crying on the couch with a pregnancy stick in her hand. I assumed it was just hormones and tried to confront her until she stopped me from doing so and said, I lost the baby. I was overwhelmed with emotions. I was angry, sad, I don't even know how to explain it. I sat there in shock for a moment trying to process how this could have happened, how and why so quickly, just everything. After I was able to gain a slight amount of composure, I started asking questions. Come to find out, she hasn't gone to the hospital in two months. So after she found out she was pregnant, she didn't go to the hospital. I asked her why she didn't tell me that she was pregnant for so long. She simply responded with, I knew my body and I just wanted to make sure everything was okay beforehand. I asked her how she just didn't tell me all that time and was perfectly fine with it. And all she said was, I just told you and carried on looking at the pregnancy test. I responded under the heat of the moment. Well, if you would have just told me, then maybe I could have helped and this wouldn't have happened. To say I regretted what I said was an understatement. I know how that sounded, but that is generally not what I meant to come out. I did was simple under the simply under the heat of the moment while I was still trying to understand everything that was going on. Right after she asked how I'm blaming this on her, and I tried to explain that's not what I meant, and that came out so wrong, but she ignored me and grabbed some of her random belongings and left. She's been she was gone for two weeks and I tried to call around and see where she was at, but no answers. I found out that she has been staying at my in laws house for the past two weeks. I tried talking to her multiple times, explaining that's not what I meant. I was under the heat of the moment, and that this is an entire misunderstanding. She said she just couldn't get what I said out of her head and asked me to leave. A week after that, I come home to divorce papers on the table and a shit ton of her belongings packed out. I know that what I said was wrong, but I did not mean it, and I tried taking it back. I tried explaining to her that that's not what I meant. I don't think that is her fault, but I was just confused so many times. I know that this is wrong, but I feel like this was completely blown out of proportion for a genuine misunderstanding. I have gone above and beyond to try to explain this, but she just won't listen again. I understand that I was an asshole. it was an asshole thing to say, but under the circumstances, I wasn't in the right state of mind. She was holding the test, she talked when she found out she was pregnant. Yeah! You're absolutely the fucking asshole! What the hell is wrong with you? Miscarriages are something that you don't want to fuck around with. 
that you want to watch what you say because miscarriage is, is one of the most devastating things that can happen to a woman. And for you to just, you know, not even think about what you're saying before you say it, that's just, why? You know, I think she's absolutely right to hand you divorce papers. Like, if that was me, if I, you know, said the wrong thing to my wife about a miscarriage, heaven forbid she ever has one, you know, if I said the wrong thing to my wife about miscarriage, I would expect my ass out on the street the next week. So, yeah, you're absolutely the asshole. Fucking get your life in check, man. Jesus Christ. Our last story comes to us from The Executioner. Am I the asshole for leaving my friend at a restaurant when he tried to get a free meal out of me? Now this is going to be the last story to kind of just lighten the mood a little bit from that last one. Yesterday, I went out for dinner with two of my friends, who I'll label as C and J, to a new Asian restaurant we never tried before. At first, the night went okay. We all got our meals, joked around, and had a good time. Then came the time to pay for our meals. When the waitress asked if we wanted separate checks, I said yes. C gave me a weird look at first. When the waitress got back to us, C handed me his check and said, I thought you were paying. At first, I thought he was joking and handed it back to him. He then puts on a serious face. At this point, I knew he wasn't kidding. I asked him why he didn't bring any money and he said, Well, you invited me. I thought you were paying for us. Jay and I looked at each other like, Did he really just say that? Normally, I wouldn't have much of a problem with it, but one, I only brought cash. And two, he ordered over a hundred dollars worth of food. I told C I couldn't pay for him, and Jay straight up refused. He goes on to call us both scumbags loud enough to attract attention, saying we're bad friends, things like that. At no point did we ever agree to pay for him. I even gave him and Jay a ride to the restaurant. At this point, Jay and I were ready to leave, and C was still throwing a tantrum. The waitress picks up our checks, and me and Jay go to the exit, leaving C behind. As Jay and I pull out, we get a string of texts asking where we went. We told C to fuck off, and... We're such bad friends that he could find his own way home. We still have no idea what happened after that because he blocked our numbers. At the time, it felt good, but a couple of our mutual friends are calling us assholes and we should have just paid for them and got the money back later. I know for a fact he would have paid me back. Am I the asshole? Absolutely not. No. Really? You, like, you, don't, you don't go to a restaurant with friends and assume that they're paying. Like... Anytime that I've gone to a restaurant with friends, I don't assume they're paying for us. Sometimes, you know, I love, you know, I love having meals paid for. Like, I like going to a restaurant, and if somebody wants to pay for me, that's fine. But I'm not going to just assume someone's going to pay for me. So, yeah, just to go there and expect your friends to pay for you, that's, that's major asshole behavior. So, yeah, C, you're definitely an asshole. OP, you're, you're not, not the asshole. asshole. All right, that was a glorious journey through Am I the Asshole? Which ones were your favorite? Let me know on social media. This link is in the link tree in the description. Also in the description, there's a link to help support this podcast. You know, if you like what I do, if you like this crazy little thing that I do, consider supporting this podcast today. It really helps me out. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have a lovely day, night, whenever you're listening to this. I hope you guys are plenty of water. I hope you guys are, you know, you're truly happy out there. If you're not happy, you know, just, you know, find something that makes you happy. New episodes of the podcast come out every Saturday, so make sure you're tuning in. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Nerd out. out, 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 out.